Yes, yes, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Basanikta, and here we're back with more Psychonauts. Where we last left off, we finished the tutorial level of basic braining with Coach Oleander, and then Sasha9 came to visit us, and he gave us a strange little button, which, hold on, I will show you as soon as I remember which button <laughs> gets my thought bubble up. So that's the, th that's the one thing, like, I don't... I don't know all the buttons for the PC version yet, so it's kind of like... There it is, okay. So Sasha's button, there it is. So then we can select that, and we gotta bring it back to the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. See? Get it. This is the button that Sasha gave me. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. Yeah, there you go, just like Raz said. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to... Um, actually... I put that away. Oh. View your current side power side powers in this thought bubble and press one to see what's in your backpack. Okay. Cool. So all my merit badges would be over here. And then Yeah. That would be what's in my backpack. Like that. Cool. Alright, awesome. So how do I get out of this menu now? Jesus. So many buttons, so little time. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to le leave the kid area here because we need to get to the geodesic psycho isolation chamber and that can't happen while we're on in the kids' now in the main store, area. We have a special on Dream Fluffs. You hear me? Dream Fluffs. They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of... No passing. But I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now <laughs> you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. That's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. <laughs> so if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Those two girls are annoying. <laughs> um... We actually might oh, be able to... Oh, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Alright, so we have a scavenger hunt here. Find eight items, you'll be promoted four ranks. Find eight more and get promoted another four ranks. Now, what's probably going to happen is I'm probably not going to find all of these in this playthrough. If I happen to find a few of them, then that's great. Uh, but I'm not going to go out of my way to look for them. Like I said, there's a lot of collectibles to be found in this game. So if you guys want to play the game for yourselves, I highly suggest it. So you can. So get where do I? Over. Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? This is just a great man. Hey, Mikhail. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot learn forever, bear. And he's still looking for the bear. Find you. Alright, so here is the, um, what is it, the main, the main lounge, and the lodge, that's what it is. The main lodge, this is where we can buy all of our stuff, right over here at the camp store. Excuse me, I told you the burgers ain't ready. But, no you didn't. The coals ain't hot, they're not gonna be done for a while, and maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb so you duster. Here you have all take the that into someone's here. mind with you. You can clean up. Now with that, ah, now here. Now that get all dousing things. rod with now. The one thing that we definitely now, need, though, is this dousing rod, which rod is only will 50 help you arrowheads. Find arrowheads that are very that's it for now. Deep. So we All need to make sure right. that we definitely get Come that on back. later. Hey, why are you stopping me? 
Oh, I thought you stopped. Hey, guys. No, 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 no. Music? Hey, you guys are good. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad. And completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. Sorry, 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 yeah. my bad. Yep. Not to worry, my bro. Let's TV just pick it up from the part where I do that thing. See, we're watching some nice cartoons. Some Saturday morning cartoons. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna go... You know what, just for the hell of it. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, God. Get up. And then... I think I can reach it from here. Yeah. See, there's a scavenger hut item right over there, so that's why I was like, yeah, what the hell, I'll get it. So now we got to yeah, go. baby! Nice and easy. <clears throat> but what we need to do is make sure that we're collecting all these cards, because then that'll raise our rank up. And we have to make sure that we're getting as many arrowheads as we can. Because that jousting rod is going to become very, very important. Up right here, it's just them two again. Uh, oh, Lily! Hey, Lily, do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map, duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, so. You guys can already tell, Lily's gonna become a bit of our love interest. Alright, now if I remember correctly... I think the way... to... grab it. I think the way the... area is through... Yes. And here we are. We're in the, the woods. Oh god, laggy. Why is it so laggy? Oh god, oh god. Why? Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think... New kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Well, hold on there. You're not doing Sasha 9's advanced training that he does in a secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC where no one can hear you screaming? <laughs> Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. I'm very confident in my ability that I will come back in one piece. Nothing's gonna happen to me. Hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now, in the woods. Hmm, no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> Ah, ten-year-olds and their humor. <laughs> All right, let's go find Sasha Nine. Oof. That's the one thing about this game as well. There's so many things I that you can Nils find. I saw Nils peeking get... into a hole in the girls' cabin. I'm hiding, and I thought. Were you guys there before? Oh, uh... Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? What? Because you just see yourself staring back. What? Hey, Elka. Hey, butt out. I mean. He'd see my new boyfriend, James, staring back, and he'd be furious at Nils. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, no, 
not fair. Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dodo? Who's Nils? <laughs> exactly. Who's and Nils? Anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole. Okay, so Ukka was the girl that was going out. That's going out with that cowboy explode. dude over there. But she still secretly loves her ex boyfriend. Nils? Yeah, something like that. These ten year olds and their romance. <laughs> Alright. Let's go in here now. Let's go put the button back. Someone's crying. Hey, who is that? Brass, is that you? It's me, Maloof! Hang on, buddy. Give me a sec to pop this tin can. Oh, let me give it a good fashion. Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh, man. Cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six-sensory deprivation tank. A hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should have sold own size or larger only. Why even cooler? Perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! Alright, so at least we got Maloof out of there. Poor kid being locked up like that. Okay, call me crazy, but I have just got to sell more side course today. So Alright, let's get our... Looks like one of the buttons is missing. Yes, Raz, I know. Let's get our button out. And let's use it. <laughs> and look at that. We're in. Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. All right, let's go get him. Also, I think. Uh, I didn't mean to grab onto that, but okay. Um, there's a card down there. Yeah, look at that. Got a card. I can go down the steps. Another so what are we card. gonna learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? Sasha, oh, there you are. All right, Sasha, let's do some advanced training. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here, not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler, and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? All right. Let's go to the the brain tumbler. So, what's this hair dryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent. Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt, unless something really very bad happens. That's great, Sasha. That's just what I wanted to hear, especially when I'm Entering my own mind. Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one. Your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Alright. Let's step through my own mind. 
Mindception. Inception. What? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Vault over here too. Come here, little vault. There we go. Rasputin's getaway. Okay, so we're here at the circus. Our family and this weird trench coat dude gives us a pamphlet. I can lift seventy pounds with my feet, which is cool. And there's the coach. And Dad does not like it. So we're deciding to escape on the world's smallest pony. <laughs> and then we got here. And that's it. So that's Raz's origin. He's part of the circus. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? Uh... Uh-oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Okay. Can't do anything like that, so let's... Rasputin, uh -huh. tell me what is happening. Punch your way out. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? Oh, jeez. I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! Follow unfamiliar animal entity. Bunny. <laughs> Alright, let me just collect all these figments. Gotta collect all the figments, man. And there's a... See, there's a tag here. I would have missed that. Oh god. Come on. And then depending on which mind you're in, the figments will change. You're not gonna see the same figments all the time. Oh god. Plant's gonna eat me. But... Creepy because I'm seeing meat. Meat and really, really dangerous plants and I don't know, just overall creepy shit. Oh, there's another tag over here. Ow. Ow. Oh, that doesn't look fun. Uh, Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Then they just spewed out a... sub ah! thing. Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Alright, so we gotta defeat the big monster I saw. Plus, we're gonna get some more um, training from Sasha 9. But for right now, we're gonna leave this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel to see more content. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Yes, us!